In this video, we will solve a smallest divisor problem. So first, let's see the problem. So we have an array of integers and uh, there is a threshold given to us. So we have to find numbers starting from a smallest number such that if we divide all the numbers in this array by that number which we choose and which we are supposed to return finally. So we divide everything by that number and then we find out the sum. So dividing individually and not summing first and then dividing that's not uh, allowed. So you have to divide each number individually and then sum them and it we will take the ceiling of everything. So uh, for example let's say if we have 3 and we want to divide by 4. So it's 0 0.75 but we will take it as 1. Similarly, if you divide 3 by 3 also, again it will be 1. So you see that multiple numbers can result in same output. So 3 by 4 is also 1, 3 by 3 is also 1. And we have to do it on each element. So you can see that multiple such numbers can result in same sum. So this is the problem. And uh, the sum should be less than or equal to threshold. And it's also given that it's guaranteed that there will be an answer. So let's see this example. We have 1, 2, 5, 9 and threshold is 6. So in this case output is 5. So let's see. So we have to return the smallest divisor. So clearly smallest can be 1 because divide by 0 is not allowed. So, so smallest is 1. So when we divide by 1 we get 1 plus 2 plus 5 plus 9. So what is the sum here? It's 14 plus 3 17 which is more than threshold threshold is 6 so we will go higher what is the higher 2 so if we divide by 2 1 by 2 is 1 we take the ceiling so 1 plus 1 plus 3 plus and this will be 5 so it's 8 plus 2 10 still more than 6 now we go to 3, so it will be 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3. Again it's 3 plus 4, 7, more than 6. Next we divide by 4. So 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3, same thing, equal to 7, so more than 6. So you see multiple uh, dividers resulting in same output. So this was for 4, this was for 3. It also did not work. So next we look for 5. So it will be dividing by 5, 1 by 5, 1, 2 by 5, 1, 5 by 5, 1, 9 by 5, 2. Now it's 3 plus 2, 5, which is less than 6. You can even, even if you, we got 6, it would have been fine. But uh, it should be less than or equal to threshold. So 5 is fine. But anything less than 5, it was more than threshold and we want the smallest. So we see that if we increase the value of divisor, so if divisor increases, sum decreases because divisor is in the denominator of all the numbers and we want the smallest one. So clearly for 1 it will be large, for 2 it will be smaller and we should stop just at the right place. Obviously if we take the maximum of these like 9 and divide everything by 9 then it will be same as number of elements and there is a solution always so that will always work but we are not interested in the largest we are interested in the smallest so you can see that theoretically upper limit is the maximum element because anything beyond uh, 9 it will be just 1 1 1 1 follow everything because it all the values will be less than 1 and more than 0. So we will take it as 1. So we have to search from 1 to maximum of this. So we can do uh, a binary search here. So uh, we can also proceed linearly but calculating the sum will take O of n time. So first we will calculate the sum which will take O of n time. n is the number of elements because we have to divide all the elements and sum them. 
and if we have to search from 1 to n max n max is the maximum element in this array then using binary search it will take log n max time so let's denote by small and each iteration will take o n time for calculating the sum so overall we can do it in n log n max time uh, we can also do it like this so we search for one if it's uh, more than threshold we double it search for two still more double it four we look for four still more eight so we are doubling the value and calculating for this value so if it's less than threshold for four it was more than threshold for eight it's less than threshold then we know that it lies in this range so we will get a smaller range and we can search in this range and uh, this will be n max will be somewhere in this range it can be even 8 it can be 4 plus 1 so n max will lie somewhere in this range so straight away you can search from 1 to n max or you can keep doubling it and then you will find a smaller range and within that range search for uh, that actual value both ways are fine and uh, this uh, doubling will not take very long time because we are doubling it so after log n max steps it will cover the n max because we are doubling it all the time so 2 raised to the power log base 2 n max it's equal to n max so in log n max steps we will find this interval where we want to search or straight away we can do it both ways are fine now uh, let's uh, write the code for this and here we will use binary search but there will be a very small difference from our normal binary search so in our normal binary search when we are searching for value one of the checks is that so first what we do l less than r l is the smaller range from where we want to search r is the rightmost range first we calculate mid then we calculate the value at mid and if it's equal to the required value we return the mid and then we check if it's greater we greater and less we increment or decrement the lower range but here this mid equal to value even if it's mid is equal to threshold we will not return mid because we saw that for different values we get the same output for example for 3 and 4 both we got 7 so let's say mid was 4 and we got 7 and let's say in this case threshold was also 7 instead of 6 so we would not return this mid 4 because even for 3 we will get the same value so it does not guarantee that mid is the optimal so mid can be optimal but there can be smaller divisors also possible so this will be the uh, slight difference from normal uh, binary search so here we will have just two cases one will be more than threshold which is a definite no so if it's more than threshold we will strictly look past mid plus one so we will increment our lower range to mid plus one because mid is not accepted anything below that is not accepted and else everything else will be mid so if mid can be the solution or anything less than this can be solution so these are the only two cases so let's quickly jump to the solution we have already seen the time complexity which is n log n max n max is the maximum value in this array n is the number of elements and a space it will be of one we will not use any linear array so you can go through this problem and they have also given the solution but uh, i felt it was slightly it might be slightly confusing for some less experienced folks so i will try to write a simplified solution here so let's see both of the approaches so first we can start from end equal to 2 and here end will be this value so we are doubling it so when it it's less than threshold this will denote end 
and we are starting from 2 and uh, let's define a function to compute the sum And in this case, I am using long because for some cases it can exceed the limit of integer. N divided by x. But by default it will uh, do the floor and not the ceiling. So we need to do the ceiling. So if uh, n modulo x was a perfect divisor then 0 else 1. You can also use the ceiling function So now this function is ready for computing the sum. So while compute sum of nums and let's pass it by reference nums end is more than threshold we keep doubling the end so left shift is same as doubling and when this loop ends end compute sum of end will be using end as the divisor is less than threshold is not more than threshold at least so we have found the end end value now where should be search so if this is end what was the previous value it was half of that for that it was more than threshold so we have to search from end divided by 2 to end so we know the previous value already using just this variable so let's do a binary search from end divided by 2 which is equivalent to right shift no need to store start every time we do it we know that already it's half of that now we will do binary search so while start is less than end First thing, calculate the mid. And I have told it multiple times why we do it like that and not like start plus n divided by 2 because start plus n can be a large value and it can go past the range of int. If for mid it's more than threshold, then for anything less than mid also it will be more than threshold and mid is invalid. So we are looking in the right side of mid, strictly right side. So start is mid plus 1, else end equal to mid. Mid can be a solution. So as I explained here, we are skipping that third check which is when this sum is exactly equal to threshold for mid we don't return mid because we can get the same solution for multiple dividers as in this case so that's why we are still searching from beginning till from start till mid and finally we return start and let's see Uh, it's nums undeclared n so it should be oh, ok 
okay so there is a repeat here let's make one of these so time limit is exceeding so we are doing something wrong here so some this is fine and is two while compute sum is greater than threshold then end so this is left shift so end was never changing this was less than equal to which was so this was the mistake now it's working so let's submit and the solution is accepted accepted and we it's taking 76 milliseconds which is better than roughly 43% of the accepted submissions now uh, as i was saying that we can uh, this end and end divided by 2 so n max will lie somewhere in this range so we can directly search from 1 to n max straight away and that will also work so let's change here so end we already know anything more than nums not begin nums dot end and start we can take as 1 and this we don't need and let's see so let's see if we get a better or better solution or not so it's slightly better but we cannot say it's much better it's similar even memory is similar run time is similar so you can do either of these run time is same for both so let's write this in java also not much change is required and the java solution is accepted and in this case it takes somewhat smaller time 18 millisecond 